Learn these five deduction skills to become like or a key. Hotaro. Observation. This is the first and absolutely necessary skill in deduction. Without knowing the fundamentals of observing, it becomes difficult to be good at deductive reasoning. Firstly, observing is all about perceiving something and extracting as much information. If you're not obtaining information, then you're not actually observing. To keep things simple, you should observe one thing at a time and state what is obvious about it. For example, you can observe this open window and say that the air is coming in and out of the room. While this observation is quite simple, it will allow you to build your habit of actually observing. The simple observations also create a vital foundation to progress to more complex deductions. When you know how to observe obvious things, you can move on to examining more details. You should eventually start connecting all the dots with all your observations. Essentially you can use all the information you obtained previously to obtain clearer understanding. This is what Hodoro did when he made multiple observations. Firstly there's his observation of the window and fan. The windows were wide open while also having the running fan pointed directly towards this window. When looking at both of these together, you can deduce that this person is trying to ventilate the room for some reason. He also observed the infrared sensors and the receiver. The infrared sensors was set up right next to the room and the receiver for this is located within this room. With these two observations, you can deduce that the person set up a security system to alert him when somebody was coming. Hotoro connected all these observations together and deduced that he's using the alarm to alert him to start airing out the room. This is a good example of how to do observations. You observe one thing at a time and then you examine all these observations in order to make a deduction. Perspective taking. This is the skill to consider a situation from a different point of view. It allows you to experience the viewpoint of another person, which can help in your deductive reasoning because the different perspective gives a new range of information that you can think upon. To develop this skill, you need to be aware of the perspectives of other people. Take the time and effort to gather information on them as an individual. After gaining enough knowledge on the person, set aside your own perspective temporarily. Contemplate their own personal feelings, values, opinions, beliefs and way of thinking then actually think how this person would think. This deep understanding of the person can lead to uncovering new pieces of information. This is what Hodoro does to solve the film mystery. He decides to look from another person's perspective, considering how she thinks and feels. This leads him to seeing what was really going on when they were making the film. Another example of Hodoro using this skill is when he was solving the school announcement mystery. He looks from the perspective of the student, considering how the person would react when listening to the announcement, leading him to disregard one possibility and try to look from another angle. Pattern recognition. Identifying patterns is an important skill for deductive reasoning. Anything that happens consistently can give vital information on individuals and situations. You can observe patterns in human behavior, body language, the environment in your surroundings and much more. It's best to take mental notes on everything as much as you can, so you can establish what is normal for individuals, circumstances and objects. This allows you to see how a person usually behaves, or how something normally works. Along with that, you can easily detect anything out of the ordinary because you already identified the pattern before. Deviations from the pattern will also provide a lot of important information to help you deduce, in order to give you a better idea on how you can use the skill of pattern recognition. I will be showing two examples of Hodoro using his awareness of patterns to help him in his deductions. In this first example, Hodoro observed that one of the sisters wrote her name on many items. This is a pattern that can give you key information if you ask yourself the right questions. A good question to ask yourself is, why would she write her name on multiple items? The answer to that is, to make it clear to people that these items belong to you. That's the only good possible reason on why you would write your name on an item in the first place. People commonly write their name on items for the exact same reason, so it makes logical sense. You can also deduce even further when you analyze all the items that the two sisters have. When observing the same two items, one sister has her name on it while the other sister doesn't. This pattern means that she wants to make it clear to her sister that it belongs to her. There's a psychological reason behind this and you can deduce to a conclusion on her as an individual, which is, she doesn't like to share, because if she didn't mind sharing, she wouldn't write her name on these items in the first place. This is a successful pattern identified by Hodoro, helping him with more further deductions. In the second example, Hodoro noticed a deviation from the normal pattern, specifically the school announcement through the speakers. It's significantly different from the normal school announcement, and there's many things that he noticed. Firstly, the announcement called for people who have been at a specific shop at a specific day, saying to come to the faculty room immediately. 
The announcer didn't name a specific person and was vague. You can deduce that person who's being called has done something bad. If the person was being called for praise, the announcer wouldn't hide the identity. They would just outright say the person's name and say exactly what was going on. But that's not the case. The announcer was using discretion, not revealing names and not revealing too much details on the situation. Also the announcement wasn't repeated. Usually you would repeat it over the speakers to make sure people hear the announcement clearly. Hotoro noticed this pattern deviation, allowing him to deduce that the person made the announcement in a rushed manner. Because the person didn't bother with the standards to repeat the announcement for the second time. Another pattern deviation he noticed is the time of the announcement. It was announced after school hours. It could have been done earlier in the day when there were more people, but it was done after school with significantly less people around. This is out of the ordinary when you do school announcements. This means that the reason behind the announcement recently occurred, and couldn't wait until tomorrow to summon the person to the faculty room. Hotoro's identification of these pattern deviations allowed him to deduce even further, uncovering more information on this mystery. Unbiased thinking Your ability to be unbiased is important in deductive reasoning. The main goal with deduction is to determine facts about someone or something. It's not about forming your own opinions on them. When it comes to deduction, your opinions don't matter. The truth is the only thing that matters and should be your number one priority. But in order to get to the truth, you have to remove the biases within your thinking. The first step is to be aware that you have biases. Your opinions, values and ideals, makes you see the world in a certain way, which is why you should take the time to understand yourself so you see how these things affect you. Be skeptical when you start becoming too emotional because this is a common sign of bias and emotions don't work very well when you're trying to be objective. Another thing to be aware of is being too fixated on one idea. Being too committed or focused on one thing doesn't allow for other ways of thinking. This is a mistake Hotoro makes. He becomes too focused on solving and fixing the film, resulting in forgetting the human psychology side of things, ignoring what the creator intended for the movie. He realized that his deductions may be wrong after his friends confronted him about it, eventually overcoming his biases and later figuring out the truth. Research it involves searching for information and evaluating it. This skill will sometimes be needed in deductive reasoning because you have an insufficient amount of information. It may be because you're not well informed on a particular subject or your deductions lead you to searching for clues located elsewhere. Whatever the case may be, there's a variety of sources to help you in your research. This could mean listening to specific people, reading a book, searching online, and much more. Keep in mind you should only be researching things that are useful and related to your deductions. So you should identify the purpose of your research first, then search for the specific information that will actually make progress. For example, Hotoro asks for a copy of the script so everyone can get a better idea on the script writer's attention to detail. This important source of information allows everyone to easily see if the theories actually make sense when compared to the script. Another example is when Hotoro goes to the library, specifically looking at the archives of newspaper articles, allowing him to educate himself on what happened in the past and evaluating if his theories and deductions are correct. Thanks for watching Vevn7.